Hello. Um, I uh, I'm smoking outside now, and this is good because I was I guess like literally I guess literally li literally I was choking on the cigarette smoke. Um, that's different. I recently took my uh, every 12 hour anti-anxiety pill, so it should be working well. And I might be somewhat anxious from smoking outside because that means I'm smoking a lot less, and so that will affect me. And uh, as you know, I'm working on a new cord, but I'd just like to warm up first uh, and get an idea of where my head's at. <laughs> Sorry, that was very mechanical, what I was just doing, and uh, I, I was basically just checking up on, uh, you know, my ability. Um, my ability seems to change. opinion I'm still not at an ideal state. Um, I, I don't know if you heard them, if you heard them, to some people it will be obvious what I did wrong to other people. It might just sound like a droning noise <laughs> that uh, is not fun to listen to. <laughs> To, uh, of course, assuming my camera is good enough to pick up the distinctions of the noise. At least for the time being, though, I'm satisfied with uh, the sound the guitar is making. There's been times, mostly when I'm a little bit out of my head, when I think the guitar is not making the proper sound. Actually, you know, that could, uh, that could not actually be a, that could be a thought that's not delusional, but actually based in reality. If I was smoking, like chain smoking, uh, which I was uh, in this room, I bet that could affect the amp. So just something to think about. Also, if I did it over a long term, the amp theoretically could catch on fire. This is just brute force memorization, 
which uh, despite the name brute force, like they say Google uses brute force programmers or something, um, whereas Apple uses like really smart people, like genius versus like the one genius versus the hundred smart people thing. But anyways, with guitar, I'm pretty sure no matter what your, like, whatever internal talent, if, if there is a distinction, I'm not smart enough to know. Um, you've got to do some just brute force memorization. <laughs> but uh, I guess the payout was worth it. So, this guy. should start linking the G's together, which I don't normally do. Uh, not going to spend too much time on that, because that seems like... I think I've already expressed my opinion on that chord. Three mutes uh, seems a little excessive uh, the thing about the G's the G's that I've collected um, it's not all I don't have a neat chart of easy to uh, cycle through G's. Um, like the my my original chart had, which was easy to cycle through, and then I, originally I would go like this, but now I'm separating the E's from the A's. Anyways, um, so uh, if I were to rotate through the three G's, which I'll try after uh, I stop thinking about it for a bit. <laughs> if I were to rotate uh, through the three G's, it's not intuitive to... Um, I think what I'm saying is obvious. I don't know why I always over-explain. <laughs> Too bad, but um, 
Yeah, but just with practice I'll get faster. And it's good to be faster, I think. I don't know how fast I want to go. Like, uh, I've said a number of times, I think, that my goal is not speed metal. Um, <laughs> I'm probably creating a lot of haters uh, based on my uh, uh, saying that I don't want to do speed metal. But maybe I should just embrace it. Maybe I should like force myself to listen to some of it and realize it's not that bad. I don't know. There's no one specific that there's no one specific band that ruined it for me, but you know. <laughs> Two moots. And I tend to stroke down. I I don't really have enough stroke. Practicing an upstroke, and the song I'm going for has an upstroke. So, yes, that was C minor. Uh, I could do C7, but I feel I'm pretty warmed up um, and ready to go for this difficult one that uh, 3, 5, 7. Um, it's a difficult one that I have been trying to learn for the sake of uh, maybe playing a song at one point. Uh, four, three. So, yeah, this is clearly a step above what I am used to. Am I muting? I guess it's okay to mute it over there. This really, this really has to do with changing the shape my fingers are usually in. Okay. There's like three fingers that can mute that string. Cross our legs. So I'm gonna get my eyes poked out. Thank you. 
Uh, I feel like I'm literally going to break my hand during this. And the person I learned, the YouTube video of the person playing this, she doesn't have long nails, but I'm pretty sure they're longer than mine, so I can't really complain about that. Okay, that's enough time on that. I think you've seen, I've, I mean, some people would say keep doing that till you get it right, but, um, well, I can feel my hand, uh, definitely, uh, <laughs> made compensation, I don't know how to put it, um, it's learning how to compensate for the shape, if that makes sense. I remember when I learned this, um, I don't know if I, oh shit, what if I unlearned that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, when I learned this, first it was just that, then it was that, then it was that, then it was that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and also in this video um, of the song I'm trying to learn based on that chord I was just playing, uh, it's the same chord up and down the string until something different happens. And uh, so, I forget what I was trying to say. I'm sorry, it's the, it's the clonazepam. I'm sorry. <laughs> sometimes that I sometimes play too loud to realize the camera messed up and stopped recording. So I think we've done everything. We've, uh, we've actually done a lot of G uh, compared to my other videos. So yeah, why not? Let's do more G.
Raising the index D pushes the pinky. So that's C7. Oh, and if it wasn't for the fact that I'm working on this guy down here, I might be starting to add some fifths into the mix. Um, I hope you found, well I mean, I'm gonna say, I was gonna say I hope you found that interesting, but if I actually believe it had something you could think of as interesting, then I would be trying to do it again. Uh, right. Okay, well the card turned off and it was a good enough it was a good time the time was long enough but I was kind of in the middle of something uh, so look at that middle finger struggle <laughs> I'm trying to raise this up, which also raises this up. That's just how my hand works. And that should be down, and that should be up. And this is, <laughs> you know... <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, maybe the camera was right, and maybe I should have stopped. But so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, hope, I hope you find me failing to do a chord as interesting as doing it as correctly as that. But I think that's my most correct chord. Deceleration 
point of what we are able to learn, I forget if it goes like this or this. It says for the for there. In the video, her fingers were doing some weird things. And you know uh, that comes from training which makes me feel less bad that I'm not getting this right away. And if only, sometimes I'm just like, if only I could just slice a small amount of skin, but that is not a good idea. My middle finger is having a manic episode. Yeah, so when I when I stop doing that, I feel this part of my hand um, muscles were working, and I felt something like that when I was working on G major, and then I just got there. Uh, mostly the the breakthrough point was when I stopped using that computer chair. punishing me because I claim I know how to do it. And also because I have my cigarettes in the pocket that the guitar wants to rest on. So, this should be enough for now. Thank you for watching. And I'll leave you. Oh, he, yeah, the guitarist said never cover your whatever. I'm not supposed to do that. Uh, sorry. <laughs>